be talking about Outlook, and we're going to be talking about setting up signatures. Um, not necessarily a basic signature, but basically a signature that has your information, plus some images that are links to a particular location you wanted to go to. So in this case, a link to a blog, a LinkedIn, website, and maybe my YouTube channel. So in order to do this, what you would need to do first is gather these images. And what I would say about that is make sure that those images aren't too big. Now I've actually made them quite big even in this video. Um, you can make them smaller than that. And, and to give you some perspective, these are 25 pixels by 25 pixels. So they keep the email really nice and small. If I have these huge images and I insert them into my signature and just resize them, that's not gonna help me. It's actually gonna make my email really big. Um, so we don't wanna do that. So make sure you resize the images before doing um, this in your signatures. So the first thing would of course be going to create a signature, edit a signature. Now there's a few ways to do that. I'm just gonna go to file, options. And then when the options dialog box pops up here, I'm gonna go to mail. And then there's a signatures button. And when you click that, it goes into your signatures. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and create a new one so you can kind of go over and see how this is set up. So I'm gonna click the new button. I'm just gonna call this one sample. And for purposes of example, I'm just gonna link um, or do a hyperlink from an image to the LinkedIn site. So of course you could type in whatever you'd like your signature to say. I'm not gonna bother typing anymore. Um, and of course you can format that as well. So you can highlight it and change your fonts, bold, all this type of stuff. So at this point, what I'd like to do is I'd like to insert an icon. Now, again, to reiterate, I've already resized the icon ahead of time. So it is 25 pixels by 25 pixels. You could use something in and around that. I would potentially even consider going a bit smaller. To insert the image, you're gonna click the insert image button found in your signature editor. And when you click that, it's gonna to go to browsing your computer. Now, it currently has gone to my folder that contains my icons that I want to use. And I'm going to choose the LinkedIn icon. And I'm going to click Insert. So as you can see, it puts in the image. And there it is. I can reposition it. I could add extra returns between it. However you'd want to do that. I can even use a space to tab it over a little bit kind of thing. So you can position it where you want it to go. And what we need to do now is we need to turn it into a link. So. I'm actually going to click on the image. You can see it highlights it there. And then to get it to be a link, I would actually click the button. That's the one at the very end. It's the globe with the little chain link at the bottom. Now, specifically talking about LinkedIn for a moment, we're going to run into a bit of a problem. And the problem is gonna be this. On my LinkedIn site, I like to make the links look good. So I don't want it to go to, you know, LinkedIn slash EN slash the 1254-425. Uh, website. I'd like it to go to something usable. And it doesn't really matter in this case because I'm clicking an image, but it just makes it look cleaner. Okay, so I'm going to talk about that first. So if you're on your LinkedIn, you can actually just go directly to your profile. And on your profile, you'll see down below your information, there's going to be a little link. And it's not going to look like exactly like this. It's going to look a little bit different, actually, if you haven't already changed this. And there's a little cog button right next to it. If you just click that, over on the right hand side it says your public profile URL so you can create a branded URL it's functionality built right into LinkedIn so what you do is whatever is uh, displaying down at the bottom here you just click the little edit symbol and then you can type after all of this nice friendly URL name so I've just typed my name I've hit save and that's going to work so this is the actual hyperlink I want to use so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to highlight that with my mouse I'm gonna press Control C on my keyboard to copy the information. And then I'm gonna go back over into my signature editor. So now that I have that friendly looking URL to my LinkedIn, I'm gonna select the image, click the insert hyperlink button. It pops up the insert hyperlink dialog box. At which point I'm just gonna do Control and the letter V to paste that into the address section. One word of warning. If you see any other little icons, sometimes a little X here, even a little arrow here, it just means you copied a bit too much information. So make sure you remove that and it's just the regular LinkedIn profile. When you hit OK, nothing visually changes here, but we would of course need to test it out. So I'm gonna click OK, OK again. So the next time you make an, there's my sample signature. I'll just send it to myself. So once I've sent it to myself, here it is, it appears. And then there is the hyperlink now. You see if I move my mouse over it, the nice friendly link displays there as well. And of course, if I click that, 
it's going to go directly to my LinkedIn. Now, that's how simple it is. You now can add images into your email signatures to allow people to access more information about you, whether it be LinkedIn, YouTube, your website, whatever other information you want to give them a quick one-click access to.